Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It's Rapid Bucharest, and they take on Petrolul Ploiesht. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And the match is underway. Morais. And they need to get tighter. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Seto. A chance to whip it in. Could be! Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Brown. Making sure it didn't get past him. An important interception. Hanka. It's looking promising. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead Hanka it might be on for them and blocked for now well he missed the targets and then some wide it went Morais. Chance to do damage. But nothing comes of it. Well, 
Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. Indeed, two trenchant sides not giving very much away at all. That's well blocked. Did well to win the ball back. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And he takes on the shot and blocked for now. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Effective challenge. Hanka. He's got to have a go here. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Julian Cristea. And he did well to cut it out. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But really sticking to their task defensively. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Julian Cristea. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. So making the substitution now. Jefferson Hanka a very good tackle 20 minutes to go in this one well these fans are pushing their team on here they sense a winner's coming the delivery and intercepts again It is a decent looking attack here, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, that is how to break up a counter attack. Level pegging, but can they change that? An interceptor there. Brown. Good looking sequence. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Well, the cross that time completely overcooked. Well, from one flank to the other, but overhit. Substitution time it is here. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Now, denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity, maybe. Will she produce the red card here? And it was always going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision. Well, he had to make a tackle, didn't he? Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one.
making high pressing work for them here oh keeper dealt with it and now a corner can they take advantage of it Trying to deliver it accurately. And there's the referee's whistle, still all square.